practice every day. The channel's full of bread, a little turn, a little prey. I flip a million out of nothing, make me feel a certain way. Hoping that the switch. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fist. You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen, hit that sub button, all right? Hit that sub button, join this Fisk Unit Army, and get Fisk Unit tough. And you know, real quick, before I talk about Saquon and the crew, no excuses. And life, I'm tired of excuses. Let me explain something to y'all. For about four or five days now, I every video I've done, I've had to do on my Bluetooth headphones and my cell phone. Because for some strange issue, all of my recording equipment on my computer does not work. So even though I'm in my office, I turn on my phone and record these videos. Well, the point I'm trying to make is stop being lazy. Stop making excuses. In life, if you want something, it's never going to be easy. And it's never going to be perfect. Life if you want something go get it you're never gonna be in a perfect situation to meet your the, the girl of your dreams okay stop waiting till you get a buff body stop waiting till you get your money right if you see a pretty girl go talk to her if you have a business idea in your head right now you're never gonna be in a perfect moment you're never gonna have the right amount of money you're never gonna have your bills paid off you're never gonna have a perfect credit score just go get that shit the moral of the story is if you want something in life, go get that shit. You understand me? And that's from Big Fisk. One honey. I put that on the unit. If you want something in life, go get that shit. Stop making excuses. Now, anyway. <sighs> shout out to Saquon Barkley. And shout out to the Giants. Because we won it this week, baby. We want it this week. We want it. Saquon's at practice. Tony's at practice. Galladay, Shepard. Oh, we back, baby. Oh, the crew is back. We're not going to have Andrew Thomas. But the weapons? Oh, they back. Oh, Daniel Jones is loading them clips. They may not be practicing in full, but they, they but they, the fact that they're doing shit on the practice field, that just lets you know. Oh, they're coming back. Remember, Joe Judge said that he did not want to put Galladay and Saquon on IR because he always had the feeling that they would be back for the Chiefs game. The goal was to get them back for the Chiefs game. That's why he didn't put them on IR. And we got till Monday night. <laughs> ooh, 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 we got till Monday. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, we want this game. Oh, yeah, this, 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 this is the we're here game. The same way the Bengals had to put hands on the Ravens on Sunday is the same way the Giants will have to put hands on these damn Chiefs. Listen, if you give Daniel Jones his full complimentary of weapons, if you give him his full arsenal, you give him all the guns. If he got his rocket launcher, his chopper, his pistol, his combat knife, his grenades. If you give him his whole arsenal, we will beat the Chiefs. I'm telling you, that's a fact. I said it. If he has all his weapons, we will beat Kansas City on Monday Night Football. We ain't scared. We the Giants. Beating, beating overrated ass favorites is what we do best. Historically, we've done it for years. Oh, the Giants are gonna be Joe Montana. LT said, Hold that. Giants are gonna be Jim Kelly. LT said, Hold that. Giants are gonna beat Tom Brady. Eli Manning said, Hold that. Oh, the Giants can't do it again. Eli Manning said, Hold it again. Oh, the Giants can't beat Green Bay. Brett Favre, hold this L. Oh, Giants are gonna beat Aaron Rodgers. He doesn't make the Brett Favre mistakes. A-Rod, you hold this L2. You'll get my drift? 
The Giants love to beat your favorite quarterbacks. We love to be the upset people. The most giant shit in the world is us winning this game on Monday Night Football. It's what we do. And we ready. Oh, we ready. We are ready. You see Joe Judge, we have we practicing to, to Kansas City music, to the Chiefs, uh, like uh, Tomahawk Chopper, whatever the hell the song is. Oh, yeah, we ready. We want this game. You can tell. And here's the thing. When the Giants want a game, we normally go out there and play hard. See, you can tell the difference between a regular game and when the Giants want to win. When the Giants want to win, we come out there, we we, we we put that work in. Remember on Monday Night Football versus Tampa Bay, we had them dead to rights. All right, Daniel Jones made a couple mistakes, but that was, that was pre-Tony Galladay. And um, that was pre-Tony and Galladay. So, you know, he ain't going to make and he didn't have Saquon either. That was, that, there was no Saquon, Tony, or Galladay. So, trust and believe. The Daniel Jones that we've been watching this year is good enough to beat Mahomes. He's more than capable of beating Patrick Mahomes. I can't wait. Just knowing them boys is out there practicing, just knowing they want to play, whoo, I can't wait. It's going to be a slobber knocker to quote JR. It's going to be a slobber knocker. It's going to be good. It, it just got me hyped. You know what I'm saying? It's early in the morning right now. I just left the gym. I'm in my truck chilling. It is, yeah, man. Woo, 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 woo. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm on Twitter. I see my man Saquon out there dancing on the practice. Feeling like, yeah, we good. It's one of those days. It's one of those weeks. We get ready. No, 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 no. Giants ain't about to get embarrassed on national TV. I don't give a damn how many games the Chiefs done lost. I don't care how motivated the Chiefs are. I don't care if Andy Reid is the head coach and owns the Giants. We're going to put that work in. All right, Andy Reid don't own Joe Judge. This is a new day. He is not in that Eagle Green no more. I don't know what it is about that Eagle Green, but they, the Giants are just cursed first that Eagle Green. I don't know what it is. But he ain't got that Eagle Green on no more. We ain't scared of Andy Reid. He officially lost all his powers versus the Giants when he wasn't rocking Eagle Green no more. All right, I can't wait. And Danny, hey, DJ, y'all make sure y'all get this back to Daniel Jones. Um... Please remember, they tried to play you in the offseason by tying your shoelaces together at the barbecue. Please don't forget that. Uh, y'all make sure the Giants players that rock on my channel, y'all know who y'all are. Y'all make sure y'all get this back to Daniel Jones. Y'all get this back to that damn Jason Garrett. Make sure Jason Garrett calls like 10 read option plays to make sure Daniel Jones cooked that secondary one time. Make sure that Daniel Jones put him on that highlight reel. On general principle, I want Daniel Jones to go out to get like 80 to 100 rushing yards. General principle. One time, my man shoelaces together at the barbecue. Now, we don't forget shit. And if they do, I don't because I'm petty. I remind people so they don't forget. Nah, 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 nah. Giants Nation ain't forget that. We ain't forget. But anyway, that's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.